Ah, so more and more people in my university have found out that I post videos on YouTube or on TikTok. If you're one of them, hi. You're probably shocked if you met me for the first time in real life and then found out this little fact about me. On the other hand, if you knew me from my videos before talking to me, you will also be shocked at how I behave in real life. That's why I want to answer this question once and for all. Am I the Long story short, I'm not the same in real life compared to in my videos. That's the end of the video. Join my telegram channel, the Gomedian Dungeon if you haven't. Uh, psych. That was a joke. Please don't leave this video. So I don't act the same. But why? Long story long, if you've watched my videos, you might perceive me as extroverted, unhinged, or funny. That's why it's called the Gomedian, right? I make comedy videos. In addition, the magic of editing helps me to execute funny jokes since I can perfect the comedic tab. Since I can perfect the comedic timing. It's so easy to end a video with a joke. I just need to be talking as per normal and then ah! I perform my eyes. And I think it's cool when people recognize me in real life and then tell others about it. Of course such news spread so quickly. You just need to share my video in a group chat and it's over for me. By the way, that happened in my orientation group. I'm aware that people in my college might be stalking me, sorting my videos by the oldest. But if you expect me to be like how I am in my videos, then you'll be sorely disappointed. You need to understand that viewers of my videos make up 100% of their idea of me from my videos. But in reality, my videos are just 20% of who I really am. You might not know that I really enjoy teaching. I like working on my strength in the gym. I don't like initiating conversations with people I've never met. That's why I really hope that they talk to me first. But John, you gave out flyers to strangers in your video about throwing a no friends meetup. Clearly, there's a contradiction. Yeah, but there are a few reasons why I could do that. First of all, I went out of my way to get rejected the first few times to convince myself that the rejection isn't bad. Then, I didn't have to care about being rejected. Also, these strangers are people I'm never going to see again, so they won't care about me. And let's remember that I'm doing this for content. I know that if I don't step out of my comfort zone, then I won't have interesting content. In a way, these videos help me to embrace discomfort. Another example would be when I went for a chess meetup in this video. Another thing about me is that I can be pretty low-key. My friend brought up a good point that though there are people that know me from videos in my school, I still go about my life pretty low-key. If I see no point in you getting to know me, then I will just radiate NPC energy, seeming shy or boring so that you'll forget about me. But if I really want to know someone, then I would like to talk to you. That is, if you initiate first, like mentioned earlier on. But even then, it might take some time for me to feel comfortable around you. Don't expect me to go full-on joking like in my videos or with my friends. That's why I find it kind of weird when people know this other side of me before talking to me. In my mind, I'm thinking, damn, do I need to be funny? Will the way that I behave be congruent with his perception? And if not, will he think that I'm fake? Well, actually, if you are a friend that I feel comfortable with, then I will act just like how I am in my videos. I mean, I could simply repeat the jokes that I scripted out in my videos, or I could use observational humor. I think I'm pretty decent at coming up with jokes on the spot. But don't come up to me asking for a funny joke now. The nice thing is that those who've known me before I even started making videos know that I'm authentic in my videos. Except for the skits that I'm clearly playing a character in. I rarely make jokes that I find unfunny or make videos that I'm not interested in. If not, I wouldn't be struggling with so little views in my videos, am I right? <laughs> at most, I just play it out for the camera. Being humorous is genuinely a part of me and I would argue it's one of my biggest strengths. Too bad I cannot put that in a job interview. Another thing I find kind of weird is when people call me the Gomedian in real life. Yeah, if you're asking the account is mine, that's fine. But my friends call me the Gomedian around people that I don't know? Why would you do that? Seeing John has fewer syllables than the Gomedian. That's why in the previous video in this series called Verbal Journal, I briefly mentioned how weird it is when my friends introduce me to her other friend as the Gomedian. Do you know that if I don't have to, I'll never bring up the fact that I make videos to someone new? I'm sure that there are still people who have known me for months and don't know about this fact. But John, why not share? It's because people might have preconceived notions if they are first introduced to me as a content creator, which is bad for first impressions. And it's better if I assume you don't know about my videos than to assume that you know. That's why I'd rather people get to know me first from how I am in real life. But not gonna lie, in some cases, it's sometimes comforting. Maybe I'm still in that awkward phase when getting to know someone. If they told me that they've watched my videos, I would feel at ease. 
I don't have to start from scratch if they know my sense of humor or even enjoy it. I don't have to worry that my weird humor might put them off. So I'm not going to act like being recognized is a burdensome struggle because it does bring its fair share of perks. And let's face it, it feels good when people tell me they've watched my videos. It's a timely reminder that my videos do have a real impact on people. So this is my PSA if you see me in real life. Feel free to come up to me to say that you've watched my video. Trust that I'll be more shocked than you in this interaction. If you enjoy my videos, please tell me. If you don't enjoy my videos, please also tell me and then share how I could improve. I am a small content creator, so it would really help me a lot. Speaking of being a small content creator, I feel good at where my level of fame or clout is at. But there are people who recognize me as the Gomedian. I'm not too famous until people act weird around me. No one is putting me on the pedestal and then being nervous around me like I'm some K-pop idol. I'm personally not too detached from reality due to my online following since content creation isn't my job but just a pastime. I have this feeling that I can hit 10k subs by the time that I graduate which is in 4 years but even if I don't, it's fine. If anything, I'm scared of being too popular like having more than 100,000 subs but we'll deal with that if I even come close to it. Anyways, a nice little benefit my friends mentioned that I've gotten from making videos is that I've gotten better at telling jokes. It makes sense that working on being funny would mean that I've become better at my comedic timing or how I come up with a joke. I'm just amazed that the skill is transferable from my videos to real life because I obviously can't use editing in real life, right? But it's nice to improve the execution of a joke, especially when people are talking and I try to sneak in a joke under my breath. And when people catch my joke and the whole room is in laughter, it feels amazing. Thankfully, the John who was a class joker in secondary school is still going strong, even as a full grown adult. I don't really know how to end this video, but this feels like a good place to close this entry. Comment what you think of my reflection of this newfound situation I'm in. While you're there, tell me what you would like me to talk about in the next videos. If you have feedback or questions on my channel, feel free to go down to the description to the Gomedian Mail. Subscribe for more videos like this, unless I'm close to 100k subs. Check out whatever this video is, and I'll see you soon if you come up to me saying, are you the Gomedian? And this guy seen it. Oh. Okay, bye.